Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Brendan's Box. Today we're just going to have a quick look at data relationships, uh, just for the MySQL tutorials. Basically, what we need to look at is the entity relationship diagram. Uh, some of you may already be familiar with this. If you are, then there's no need to watch this tutorial. But for those of you who haven't really heard of this before or are not familiar with it, I would recommend just, just watch through this tutorial. It's going to be a short one. But basically, what an entity relationship diagram does, it allows you to see what type of relationship tables need to have with each other to be able to link data. Okay. Uh, so as you can see at the moment, I have three type of relationships on there, and that is all the other type of relationships you can have. Okay. So there's a one-to-one -one relationship, there's a one-to-many relationship, and there's a many-to-many -many relationship. So what I'll do, I'll go through each relationship type, uh, and I'll just show you an example, and hopefully it'll enable you to understand it more clearly. Okay, so um, as you can see at the moment I've got one to one relationship on here. And basically what a one to one relationship means is that uh, one entity can only be linked with another one entity and that entity that was linked can only be linked back to that one entity. Okay, so it doesn't make much sense probably like that. Uh, so that's why I've got the examples. So here as you can see I've got tickets and customers. Okay, so the ticket can only be linked to one customer. So that ticket can only belong to one customer. And that customer is only allowed to have one ticket. Okay, so that means there's going to be a relationship of one to one. Okay, because there's not a customer is not allowed to have many tickets, and the ticket is not allowed to have many customers. Because okay, so that should seem pretty simple. Okay, and we'll have a look at one to many, and this is the most probably common relationship you're going to have. Um, if not, it's going to be many to many. But I'll show you that in a second. What you do with many to many. Okay, but this is a one to many relationship. Okay, and for this means that one certain entity um, can have lots of another entity, but that other entity can only be linked to one other entity. Okay, so again, that probably makes no sense. So for the example, as you can see, I've got products and I've got a category. Okay, so one product can only be linked to a to a single category, but that category can have many products. Okay, so it's just like having um, cheeses, I guess. Uh, cheddar can only be linked to to category uh, category cheese. Okay, same as parmesan can only be linked to the category cheese. But the category cheese has many products as parmesan and cheddar in it. Okay, so that should make a bit of sense. And like I said, that would probably be the most popular one you use. And here's the final relationship type: many to many. And this basically means that a certain entity can have many other entities and the other entity can have many other entities too. Okay, so again, probably not so clear, but at the example, as you can see, uh, one tu a teacher has many students, okay? And that student will have many teachers. Okay, which is fine, because that does happen, but this is the, m the bit where people would normally get stuck, okay? When you try to link these tables together, Fair enough, you can. But if you look in the teachers table, uh, there's only there is no room to put student IDs. So if I wanted to add the students that that teacher uh, taught in the teacher table, I would have to have numerous, numerous, and numerous amounts of input uh, input fields for student IDs. Okay, and same with the student. If I wanted to write all the teachers that that student had, I would have to write loads and loads of teacher ID fields, which isn't practical, it's redundant. Okay, so what you do, basically you turn a many-to-many -many relationship into a one-to-many -many relationship, okay? So now what we have in the middle is a teacher link table. And all this does is just hold the IDs of teachers and the IDs of students. So now, basically, we'll have one table, which is a bunch of IDs, but that will link the teachers and students together. So that teacher can have many links, okay, from the teacher link table, and that student can have many links from the teacher link table. And all we would have to do, if we're looking for the students for the teacher of ID 6, we'll look through the teacher link table, find all the times where teacher ID 6 comes up and we'll just get all the student IDs that are linked to the teacher 6 ID. okay 
So this basically means instead of having to create loads of fields in just two tables to put the um, opposite entities in, which we don't have, a, which you know, bold means we may know that students only have three teachers and teachers only have 30 students. Um, that's fair enough, but in most of the time you don't know how many times each of them is going to be into each other. So if you create a link table in the middle, it allows you to keep all your scripts smooth, with table smooth, and it is uh, the efficient way to do it, and it is the logical way to do it. Okay, so this may not make it uh, perfect sense right now, but when we do start the proper tutorials and all the tutorial series, at least, uh, you will see this in action, and it will come to you straight away. Okay, um, but just bear in mind, if you ever do something yourself. These are the three relationship types, and before you even start scripting or anything like that, always come up with an entity relationship diagram with all the tables, with all the fields. Come up with the organizational structure for how things are going to be linked and how things are going to be displayed. And in that way, when you start your databases, you'd have a straight idea of what you want to do. Okay? Otherwise, you'll find yourself coming back and forth trying to change things to make the organizational structure as you want it. Okay, but like I say, this is just a, a brief, but it's gone on quite a while, a tutorial on data relationships. Um, and it's not and it's not uh, particular to MySQL, it's more particular to databases, but it will be used obviously in MySQL as it is a database software. Okay, so just bear this in mind. Uh, if you have any questions, um, or any suggestions, by all means, do comment or add a add a post. Okay, uh, and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one, and please don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.